Okay, welcome to our first lesson on solving systems of equations using the elimination method. Please take out your notebook and write down the following steps for how to solve systems using the elimination method. Pause your video at this time until your steps are written. Please write example one into your notes. Following the steps, it says get the equations lined up in columns. Okay, what that means is we want all of our variables that are alike to be lined up together. Here I'm showing that my m's are already in one column, my n's are lined up in a column, and my constants, remember that's the whole numbers without variables, are lined up in a third column. Step two says get one column of variables to be opposites. Now if I notice that my, my n's are positive 1n and negative 1n, I already have step two set up for me. The ends are already opposites. Step three is add up the columns to solve for one variable. So I'm going to turn my system into a gigantic addition problem and add up each column. 2m plus 1m gives me 3m. 1n minus 1n cancels each other out. They're opposites. 4 plus 2 equals 6 and now I can solve for m. I'll do an inverse operation of divide by 3 and I'll get m equals 2. Step 3 is done. Step 4 says substitute the value found into one of the equations to find the other variable. So since we know m we are going to substitute 2 in place of m in one of our equations so we can find n. Okay, I am going to substitute into the first equation 2m plus n equals 4. I know that my m value is 2. 4 plus n equals 4. Subtract 4 on both sides and I get n equals 0. Okay, I now know that the solution to my system is 2 comma 0 and my next step is going to be to check it in both equations. My first equation 2m plus n equals 4 if I substitute my values in 2 times the m value plus the n value equals 4 I get 4 plus 0 equals 4 4 equals 4 so I know that works. When I substitute my values into my other equation 2 minus 0 equals 2, 2 equals 2. So my solution 2 comma 0 checks out in both equations. Here's my next example. Please write this in our notes. Uh, I can see that my x's are in one column, my y's are in a second column, and my constants are in the third column. So step 1 has been completed for me already. Step 2, which was to create opposites or get one column to be opposites, that step is already done for us as well because we can see that our x's are opposites. I'm going to add up my columns now and these guys will cancel each other out. 6y plus 4y equals 10y and 6 plus 24 equals 30. Okay, I'm going to continue to solve and I find that y equals 3. Now that I know y equals 3, I'm going to substitute that value into either one of my equations, but I chose to use the first equation. So negative 3x plus 6 times 3 equals 6. Negative 3x plus 18 equals 6. And now I'll use an inverse operation to start getting x by itself. That's going to leave me with negative 3x equals negative 12. Divide both sides by negative 3 to isolate x will give me x equals 4. And my solution to my system is the ordered pair 4 comma 3. Okay, please write down example 3 in your notes. And I can see step 1 has already been completed for me. My equation is already lined up in columns. X's are together, Y's are together, constants are together. However, step number two is not. We do not have opposites that will cancel each other out. 
Sometimes people mistakenly think that these these y's are opposites because one is a negative and one is a positive. However, in order to be considered truly opposites, if we added them together, we must get zero. And negative 1y plus 3y will not give us zero. So we are going to create opposites using multiplication. I, I'm going to focus on the y column because they are opposite signs. But in order for them to be truly opposites, I'm going to take this first equation and multiply the whole thing by positive 3. Okay, this is going to work just like the distributive property, but we are going to multiply every piece of the equation by 3, giving us 9x minus 3y equals 9. I'm then going to rewrite my second equation just the way it was. And hopefully you can see that right here we now have opposites in our y column. So I'm going to go on to the next step, which is going to be add up our columns. 9x plus 1x is 10x. Negative 3y plus 3y is 0. They cancel each other out. 9 plus 11 gives me 20. And now I'm going to use inverse operations to solve for x. In doing so, I find out that x equals 2. Okay, I'm going to take that x equals 2 and substitute it into my second equation. I just picked the second equation so that you could see that it really doesn't make any difference if I use the first or the second. I like the second one for this example because we have all positive terms. So I'm going to substitute 2 in place of x and my equation will look like this and now I'm going to start using inverse operations to solve for y. So I'll subtract 2 Now I'll divide by 3, and I get y equals 3. The solution to my system is 2, 3. Reminder that we want to make sure we put those in alphabetical order in our parentheses. Okay, go ahead and write down our last example for today. And I can see step 1 has been done for us. Our equations are lined up in columns. But we do not have step two done. We do not have opposites in one of the columns of variables. Okay, so um, I think that I'm going to focus on the y's because one of my variables is negative 1y. And um, that's going to be easy to work with. If I take that top equation and multiply it by a negative 5, let's see what happens. We'll get negative 20x. I'm going to change this to plus negative 1y. And when I multiply, that's easy to see. I'll get positive 5y equals negative 45. My second equation is going to stay exactly what it was. So I'm just going to rewrite it underneath so I have a nice easy addition problem. OK, I'm going to go ahead and add up my columns. Here are my opposites, which will cancel each other out. Um, in my x column, I'm going to get negative 17x is equal to, and in my constants column, negative 45 plus 11 gives me negative 34. Divide both sides by a negative 17 to isolate x, which will give me x equals positive 2. I'm going to take that and substitute it back into my, oh, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go into this second equation here. 3 times my x value minus 5y equals 11. 6 minus 5y equals 11. And I'm going to subtract 6 on both sides. Now, reminder, some of us might need to do change that to um, plus negative 5y to make sure we're doing the correct inverse operation. Okay, that's going to give me negative 5y equals 5. And when I divide both sides by negative 5, I get y equals negative 1. I'm going to go ahead and write my solution as an ordered pair. And I get 2, negative 1. All right, guys, good luck with the elimination method.